okay, Samsung fans, buckle up, because what we're about to unpack might just be the biggest leap the Galaxy Ultra lineup has taken in years. Imagine a smartphone not just chasing trends, but flipping the script on what we expect from mobile tech. Yeah, that's where the Galaxy S26 Ultra is heading. Welcome back, viewer Sam here. If you love juicy behind the scenes tech scoops, make sure to like this video, share it with your crew, and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss what's coming next. Now, let's dive into the real stuff. Everyone's been speculating about what chip Samsung would go with for the Ultra this time. Would they sneak an Exynos back into the mix? Would they split regions again? Nah. Samsung's not playing games anymore. The S26 Ultra is reportedly going all in with Qualcomm again and not just any chip. This beast is expected to rock the next gen Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 2. How do we know? Firmware leaks, the kind of internal code that doesn't lie. The S26 Ultra firmware straight up names a chip PMK80 and 50. Now, unless Samsung suddenly started naming things just to confuse leakers, this aligns perfectly with Qualcomm's upcoming silicon. The S25 Ultra's chip was labeled 87 and 50. See where this is going, but here's the real kicker. This isn't just a faster chip. Early whispers say the Snapdragon 80 Elite Gen 2 is built on a new CPU architecture called Orion. It's rumored to hit clock speeds up to 4.6 GHz, and that's the basic version. Samsung's custom version could hit a wild 4.74 GH says. That's territory we haven't seen in any phone yet. And with this kind of power, the S26 Ultra won't just be fast. It'll be brutally fast performance gains. We're talking a 25% boost over last year. That's not a baby step, that's a leap. And it's not just CPU power. The GPU inside is expected to take gaming to another level. Console-style visuals, real-time ray tracing, you know, the kind of stuff that turns heads, and it's not stopping at performance. The display is getting a size boost to 6 to 9 inches of OLED glory, but the real win, more brightness, sharper contrast, and better color accuracy, picture this, edit a video or watching HDR content on a panel that just refuses to compromise. Camera time, yes, Samsung is keeping that 200 MP sensor, but don't scroll away, because they're not just recycling old hardware. Ice Universe, the leak machine himself, claims this year's Ultra might come with a massive f1.4 aperture. That may not sound wild if you're not into photography, but here's why you should care. A wider aperture lets in more light. More light equals better low light shots. Sharper, cleaner, more dramatic photos at night, so it, it's physics. If the S26 Ultra drops from f1.7 to f1.4, that's a serious upgrade. Think less noise, less blur, and more cinematic shots even in tricky conditions. Pair that with a sharper periscope lens, possibly a 50MP sensor with FFX optical zoom, and suddenly this camera is not just good. It's threatening to rewrite the rules. And if you're wondering whether Samsung's pulling these specs out of thin air, nope. They're competing with phones that already toyed with f1.4 lenses in the past. But no one's combined that with a 200 MP sensor yet. This might be a first. Memory-wise, Samsung spec 12 GB or 16 GB RAM depending on how much you want to spend. And yeah, the 1 TB storage option likely returning. So whether you're hoarding rad photos or massive game files, space shouldn't be an issue. Battery though. Here's where things might divide fans. It's likely staying at 5,000 ma. That's solid, but with mid-range phones starting to push 6,000 or even 10,000 miles, some might find that underwhelming. Still, with improved chip efficiency and software tuning, it might go longer than you think. Samsung's betting on optimization over raw capacity this time, and don't sleep on AI. Samsung's packing more Galaxy AI features this year, and with the Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 2's onboard NPU upgrades, we could be looking at real-time photo enhancement, smarter battery management, and even predictive UI tweaks based on how you use your phone. So yeah, the S136 Ultra isn't just a spec refresh. It's looking like a true flagship with real innovation, not just marketing fluff. Bigger screen, faster chips, smarter AOI, more advanced photography. It's shaping up to be a phone that delivers on every front. And remember, the official Snapdragon announcement is expected in September, and that's when we'll likely see all the final performance numbers. But until then, we've already seen enough to know. This thing is going to be a monster. If you're thinking about skipping the upgrade this year, think again. The Galaxy S26 Ultra could be one of those phones that makes everything else feel outdated the second it drops. And this is just the beginning, we haven't even touched the software, one UI changes, or the new S Pen upgrades rumored for this model. That's coming in the next video, so don't go anywhere. Like I said, if you're enjoying these deep dives into tech's next big moves, make sure you're subscribed. There's so much more to unpack, and trust me, it only gets crazier from here. Alright, Sam out, catch you in the next one!